He's on his government mandate a break. All right, we got the first game, Town and City, and Seb <laughs> almost already going crazy with it. And we'll see how Town and City plays into this. I mean, honestly, Rob has the size and also the ability to just take people off the roof. Seb taking the first stop nice and early. A clean 25 seconds into the game. But Luma uh, trying to work his way back. Seb deciding to do 43% with only throwing a Beyblade and then spinning like one. Interesting to see how Luma tries to find his way off the ledge. Seb just looking dominant right now. Though that spot dodge, will he keep it in? Oh, <laughs> the platform didn't stop moving. But a back air will take him out. Town and City used to those uh, little early kill shenanigans. And now we're back to a Rob at zero, which means combo food for Palutena and Air. But we'll see... All right, Luma doing a good job, sort of playing a bit more aggressive, just pushing his advantage as hard as he can make it without losing out and kind of overheating. Although, <laughs> I say that, overheats with thinking he got a hit into the explosive flame, cops a death for it, but this could be death for Seb if he cops a back air. Cops a nair. Still makes it back just fine. Up tilt doesn't quite take him out. Rob a little too heavy. That's the power of being a robot. But the back air will, t will take him out. And now we're back to dead even stock. So despite that early stock at the start, Luma bringing this back. Gyro in hand. See if he can make some magic happen and get this first game. I mean, if Luma wants to take this back, it's gonna be a mountain to climb. I mean, he is in loser's side, so six games at the very least uh, if Luma wants to take this, but uh, Seb obviously doesn't want to give him a bar. Separated from his faithful partner Gyro, though, we'll see how far he can go. Luma off stage, not quite gonna take it. Gyro in hand, doesn't do anything crazy, doesn't get the back out. The explosive flame! <laughs> that... So... Seb fared. Palutena's feet went forward. Palutena's head went back. And extended the hurt box back into the explosive flame. Getting himself killed. God bless. That's uh, just sometimes how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, that's Luma taking game one so not a bad start you know if you're gonna climb a mountain the first thing you need to do is take a couple steps and Luma's taken a few good ones so he's taken a game off Seb before when they played recently very very recently in fact but we'll see if he can take more than one this time around we'll see Jet we'll see so we got some uh, Persona music playing, small battlefield on the stage, and our tried and true two favorites right in front of us. So, you know, representatives of each of their states, WA and Vic, I'm sure have a lot riding on this. After all, it's a fight for clout whenever majors come around on uh, which state can stroke their dick the hardest. And, uh, you know, they're all cheering for... And Tasmania also. Who is from Tasmania here? I don't know. Is this a bit? <laughs> this has to be a bit, right? There's, there's no one from Tasmania here. Oh, so everyone's from Tasmania. Gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Jai. Big fan, big fan of your work. Right now, so Luma off stage. Not really where you want to be in general, but a really good return. Jab locked almost. Gets caught. Nice match. Not bread. <laughs> Luma's from Taz. Look, surely you know. I don't know. I met these two people for the first time tonight. <laughs> that's that's just how. It be. Look, he's got WA next to him. <laughs> Therefore, I'm assuming. 
So, even stocks, Luma trying to make this advantage last as long as he can. It's looking good for Luma right now. Playing around Gyro well, uh, using that aggression to really play in the area where he wants to be playing. Like, playing that aggressive game that Palutena benefits from, while still playing just outside of that Rob threat range, which is so goddamn big. Hmm. Edge guard situation, ledge trapping, okay. Luma keeping him, you know, just really keeping Seb on his toes, making sure that he can't get back to stage for free. Bad DI taking Seb out. Luma with a stock lead could lead into a game two if he plays this right. And right now, Seb just really looking for a way to start his own aggression, and that down throw might just be it. The Nair gets him out of trouble for now. All reliable. The exact tool you wish your character had. Alright, down tilts doesn't grab the gyro though. It is coming down from the sky. No one plays around it. Seb just really cannot get his aggression started. Luma's just stuffing all these approaches, all these little hits add up to uh, really stopping Seb from being able to really get started. Now Luma keeping him on the ledge, moving him from one to the other. Seb not getting a chance to breathe. Down tilt hits in that sort of fashion. Whiffs a grab and Luma just kind of skirting right outside that range. Seb definitely starting to sweat. This could be a game two. Going to Luma in a second here. Drag down there. And that's Luma taking the second game. All right. He's looking good. Tommy is looking good right now. He's looking hot. Yeah, you wouldn't think at a pre-local for a major, I'd have to be sitting here commentating grands on my own. But hey, you know, that's, uh, that's what they call practice in some aspect or other. <laughs> that's their Tommy. So true. Righto, so game three, we're going to PS2. Uh, clearly, small battlefield was just a little bit too small. Seb could not get the space that he wanted to have. And so now, opting to go a little bit larger. We'll see if that can benefit him, or if Luma decides to just keep that aggression up super hard. Got Blurry packing up the venue, god bless. And that's a massive spike coming out of Seb. Not a single scratch on him. That paint is fresh. So now it's just a matter of, can Luma do the same? Can Luma respond in kind? Okay, Seb makes it back perfectly fine. All right, Luma's only 1%. Still racking up that percentage really well, keeping this aggressive sequence going for as long as he can. Palutena... A character that can really just stick on you, especially with a body as big as Rob. Not too many defensive options. So now Luma, if he can close this game three out, that's a big reset that he can get for himself. But Seb, I mean, Seb never someone you can count out for sure. There's a reason that he makes it as far as he does with a character like Rob. He knows what he's doing and uh, keeps his little mental in check. You know, always cool, calm, and collected. A little bit of a trade, and now Seb at 150, Luma two stocks down. Definitely wants to land this kill sooner rather than later. Down throw could be a way to do it. Down tilt. Maybe. Okay, the jab will do it. So, one stock, you know. <laughs> Anti-manifesting, yeah. Chat's just manifesting the reverse 3 O's or the anti 3 O's. That's what you want to see. All right, Luma playing around Gyro pretty well, but off stage against Rob, almost cops it. Really, really wants to get this aggression started. Seb's done a great job adjusting and just playing a little, just changing his spacing up ever so slightly. Luma, uncharacteristically, taking a little bit of an SD there, and Seb gets his first game of the Grand Finals. So we will... uh. See if he can keep this momentum, or if Luma can get, you know, 
all of the uh, wins back in his pocket and get a bit of a reset going on. But we'll see. Grand Finals, I mean, FNS, it's the pre pre pismas FNS. Anything can happen. That's the spirit of the weekend, and it all starts tonight with, uh, you know, a honestly pretty interesting bracket that we've had throughout the entire night. It's been uh, great to see, especially seeing some of these players, uh, or at least me personally, seeing some of these players for the first time uh, in person. So been good to meet people. It is called Pismus. That's the weekend. That's the major this weekend. Named after our resident boys, the Piss Gang. God, I love them to bits. They're our uh, resident Sunny Coast boys. But Luma with a big aggressive sequence to start this game off. Seb managing to shut it down without dying. Oh my god, there's an <laughs> exclamation mark Piss Gang. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's what we need. The command we always wanted. But Luma... On the ledge, and the down tilt back air will catch Rob nice and big. That down tilt a little bit more generous, especially against Rob, since he is so much larger. But now Luma with a stock up, only 50% on him. Uh, Rob trying to find their sort of way to get this going. And Luma, if he can just keep that aggression he had in the first stock, like continuing as clean as it was, Maintain that spacing, you know, keep at a safe area, which he was doing really well. Uh, he could very potentially reset this. It's definitely not out of the question. Mm, wind boxes, moving the giant robot around. Some good percentage racked up. Luma keeping him on that ledge, not giving Seb any room to breathe whatsoever. These down throws, I mean... Down throw from Palutena is a fantastic tool, but especially for conditioning your opponent. I mean, obviously you want to avoid the down throw back air. I think mean, you want to avoid the raw back air as well. Luma in the same position Seb was in last game. The mash of the gods makes it out. Accidentally mashed explosive flame and dies for it. So now both players... 0%, but one player with two stocks to play with instead of one. Gyro in hand as well. Oh, that was so clean. <laughs> that was a fantastic little conversion from Luma there. That was great. Oh, a little bit of a gyro. Almost got stuck. Gets the tech chase. Luma looking so clean right now. Manages to make it through, and Seb in a little bit of danger. Cops the Nair into the jab. Now it's just a question of whether or not Luma can... <laughs> he held that down smash for as long as he was let. Doesn't cop too much from the down tilt. Seb trying to find his way back. Bad DI. Luma takes his stock. Now it's really, I would like to say, anybody's. I mean, Rob, zero to death, not out of the question just yet. Especially with that gyro in hand. Seb looking for it. Doesn't quite find it. And now Luma just wants to find this kill. Seb Pro making it back to the stage. Can he make it back to center? Not quite yet. He's, uh, he's taking his time getting there. Luma making good use of that gyro. Applying a little bit of pressure. Forcing Seb to take actions he's not particularly used to taking. Goes for the juggle. Doesn't quite get it. Now Luma still fishing for these back airs. Fishing for these nares. Wants this kill. Wants this reset. Does he quite get it? Not quite, Rob. A little too heavy for that. Air dodges back. And catches the roll again. Fantastic read from Luma. And that is the reset. So Luma resetting Seb. A fantastic first couple games coming out there. The first 